to my voice much today. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to our gentle yoga session. Uh, so I don't know about you, but I'm feeling a bit stiff and sleepy this evening. So we're going to start lying down. We'll do our full hip opening sequence and then get the body moving with some sun salutations uh, and then get to our meditation at the end. Uh, so yeah, if you have a strap or a scarf nearby, and we'll start lying on our backs and come into our practice from there. So we'll start, we'll take a full body stretch. Oh. And then when you're ready, we'll make our way to our Shavasana. So feet are as wide as the mat. If you don't have a mat, just about two to three feet apart. Hips are relaxed, so the toes fall outwards backs of the hands to the floor, fingers are gently curling in, and then let's come to the breath, a gentle rise and fall of the tummy, and with each exhale, just see if you can release yourself a little more into the support of the air. Just notice anywhere that you might be holding tension. And we're going to make our inquiries this evening. So checking in with the physical body. So bone and muscle. Any lightness or tightness. Any sensations around the organs. And the whole of the body. And then let's check the mind, the frequency, texture of thought or image. And then to the energetic bodies. So this may present as lightness, a tingle, a vibration. Maybe it's just the breath and the lift and fall of the body. And now let's take our awareness to all the places we meet the floor. So for the texture, temperature, the amount of pressure. There's this whole landscape if we just put our awareness there. And then to all the places the body curves away from the floor. Try and feel the air moving, or the fabric of your clothes. And now to both, so supported and unsupported. And we're ready to move. Our next inhale floats the right knee up to the chest. We take the hands around the top of the shin. And as we exhale, gently easing the knee into the torso. 
This is really strong around the pelvis. You can bend the left knee, have the sole of the foot down, and you'll notice your pelvis becomes much lighter and freer. <clears throat> if you keep the leg straight, you're also getting into the left hip flexor. And each exhale, apply a little more pressure. So this can feel quite strong. Just one more deep inhale, exhale here. And then releasing the left hand, just using the right hand, we're going to guide the knee to the right side until you feel the groin opening. And with each exhale, we try and let that knee drift towards the floor. So the groins can take a long time to let go. <clears throat> Deep inhale, exhale here. And then we'll inhale back to center, switching the hands. Release the right arm down and we'll guide the knee over to the left. So you'll start to feel into the right glutes. Depending on your body, you can either keep the right buttock to the mat. If you want to deepen, if there's not enough of a stretch there, you can lift and come into a bit more of a twist so long as the right shoulder stays down and the gaze stays to the ceiling. So we're not moving the neck in this posture. And again, with each exhale, see if you can let that right glute go. Let it open. And our next inhale, let's roll onto our back. So we'll give that knee another squeeze in. <clears throat> and now we're going to slide the right hand down the belly. So keeping hold of the knee in the left hand. And we're going to take hold of the outside of the right foot with the right hand. Now we're trying to keep the right knee into the arm so it's not flying outwards. So this is a groin opener. One more deep inhale, exhale for compression. And then releasing the pressure, we'll take our straps now and place the strap nearer to the heel than the ball of the right foot. You can bend up the left knee now if you know you need a bit of extra space for the hamstring. Otherwise, we have the right knee bent. We take a deep inhale. And as we exhale slowly, we try to straighten into the back of the right leg. So you can be working there with a bent leg and with each exhale, see if you can open the back of the knee a bit more. If you have the leg straight, flex those right toes down towards you strongly. So using the strength of the leg itself to open the back of the knee, get into the calf, the Achilles. One more deep inhale, exhale here. And then releasing that pressure, taking the leg back up to about 90 degrees. We'll take a deep inhale here. And then as we exhale, guide the right foot over to the left and feel into those right glutes. It's amazing. I haven't done any asana since Friday night's class and how quickly the body feels like it stiffens up. Mm. One more 
more deep inhale exhale here and then we'll inhale the leg back up to center release your strap <clears throat> we are going to bend up the left knee now place the sole of the foot to the mat and take the right ankle to the left thigh so you can keep the left foot to the floor and press backwards on the right side to open a bit into the glutes in the front of the hip if you want more of a glute opener you float the left knee towards you you can also take your strap around the back of the left knee over the top of the right shin and with each exhale, draw that left thigh a bit more up towards you. Just one more deep inhale, exhale here. And then release the left foot back to the mat. Keep the right foot where it is on that thigh, or the right ankle on the thigh. <clears throat> then we're gonna drop the whole of the lower body, part of the body to the left side. So coming into a gentle twist. And now if you wish, you can take the gaze to the right thumb. So twisting tailbone to the crown of the head. And then we're trying to lie the right chin on top of the left. So moving that right knee down towards the left ankle. So that levers the front of the hip open. So we'll just take one more deep inhale, exhale here. And inhaling back to center, we'll straighten up that right leg, show the sole of the foot to the sky, press through the heel. And on the next exhale, let's float it down to the mat. And we'll straighten the left leg, let the feet fall out, and just scan right and left. Notice if one feels lighter and longer, one heavier and shorter. And let's come for the left side. Inhaling, left knee coming up to the chest now. Hands around the top of the shin. And as we exhale, easing into the body. deep inhale exhale here then release the right hand back to the mat or the floor and we'll open into the groin breathing here and as we move through this side it is good to notice any differences any areas that are more tight or more open on the left compared to the right and these are just so we can work intelligently, so we know if we might need an extra breath on one groin or a hip. And if you do feel that, even if we move on, you can stay a little longer if you need a couple of extra breaths. And then just rejoin us. Next, inhale, knee back to center, switch the hands. And then let's guide that left knee over to the right, getting into those glutes. You can bring the buttock off the mat if you want a bit deeper. up to center we'll give the knee another squeeze and then holding the knee still in the right hand we'll slide the left hand down the tummy 
and grab the outside of the left foot. Keep that left knee into the arm. Next exhale, let's release the foot. You can give the knee another squeeze and then taking our strap, I'm gonna hook it around the left foot near to the heel. Remembering you can always bend up the right knee. So left leg is bent, we take a deep inhale. And as we exhale, straightening into the back of that left leg. Just one more deep inhale, exhale here. And then ease off some of that pressure, taking the leg back up to roughly 90 degrees. We'll take a deep inhale. And then as we exhale, guide that foot over to the right. Hmm. feel complete inhaling back up to center <clears throat> we release the strap bend up the right knee take the left ankle to the right thigh and you can stay here with the right sole of the foot down guiding the left knee down towards the bottom of the mat or you can raise the right thigh up towards you and you can either grab with your hands behind the right knee around the hamstring or you can take your strap I prefer the strap it means that more of the spine is in contact with the mat, <clears throat> just a bit better with alignment. Hmm. We'll take another deep inhale, exhale here. And then placing the sole of the right foot back to the mat. Keep the left ankle where it is, and then we're gonna take an inhale. And as we exhale, let's drop that right thigh to the mat. As the whole of the lower half of the body comes to the right. Arms are at 90 degrees. And you can gaze to the left thumb if you wish. And then we're trying to lever that left knee to the right ankle. So aiming to lie the shins on top of each other. Hmm. I should just say that although that we're moving in that direction, I'm probably 10 years away from being able to lie my shin on top of the other. One more deep inhale, exhale here. And we'll inhale back up to center. And show the sole of the left foot to the ceiling, flex that foot. Open the back of the leg again. Hmm. 
come on more inhale and as we exhale float the leg back down or straighten the right leg as well and just check do they both feel equal length and weight are both buttocks evenly spread Hmm. Wonderful. Now we'll bend up the knees, placing the soles of the feet to the floor. So bringing the heels quite close to the buttocks. So palms of the hands can be down either side of the bum or backs of the hands to the floor. So we're going to roll up and down the spine, up towards a bridge, not a full bridge. So we roll up as we inhale, down as we exhale. So inhaling, rolling up. And exhale, roll down. So starting to mobilize the spine and the pelvis. Heating up the front and backs of the legs. And try to be quite precise about the articulation of the spine. We'll just do two more. So we're going to take an early happy baby. So showing both feet to the ceiling. So we have three variations here. You can take behind the knees and just rock side to side gently. You can grab the ankles or you can grab the big toes. But we're aiming to keep the whole of the lower back on the mat. So just notice if your buttocks are rolling away and you're rounding your lower spine. Maybe take the hands lower. It's still quite early in the class. And we'll just rock here. Mm. I should have done this much earlier in the day. I feel so much lighter. Something about this posture. Mm. Wonderful. And now bending the knees into the chest. We're going to hug both knees. You can even round the spine, drawing the forehead towards the knees and maybe have a gentle rock on the spine. Forwards and back. And then soles of the feet back to the mat. We're going to drop them left over the top to the right. And we'll just sway side to side. So ease those groins, hips, wake up the side waist. And then when you're ready, let's roll over to our right side and make our way to our child's posture. So we always take the, the wide knee child's posture with me. So knees are as wide as the mat, big toes touch. And ease back, sitting onto the heels. So if any of you struggle with this posture with your feet, if it's really strong around the tops of the feet, you can roll up a towel like a sausage and place it under the ankles. Mm, you can wriggle through the hips here and then landing with the forehead when you're ready. And we'll close the eyes here and come back to the breath. Feeling the rise and fall of the whole body. And if you like to do the isolations of feeling the ribs reaching down, the shoulder blades moving apart, the armpits opening, then please do. But otherwise, let's just feel the rise and fall of the whole organism. And see if you can ride the out-breath into the earth, relaxing just a little more with each exhale. Just two more breaths here. For next inhale, let's walk the hands to the right side until you feel a stretch all the way from the left little finger to the left hip crease. And let's really focus on sending the breath into the left armpit, 
the left long, the left sideways. And with the exhale, see if you can relax again. Just one more in and out here. And the next inhale, walking back through center and over to the left. inhale let's walk our hands back to center engaging the arms this time so the elbows are lifted a couple more breaths here and on the next inhale let's float the spine up in one piece coming to our tabletop hands under the shoulders knees under the hips and we'll take our spine articulations. So the next inhale, let's drop the belly, drop the chest, gaze a little forward, just maybe to the front edge of your mat, and as you exhale, round up into the spine. And with each inhale, maybe you arch a little further, and the gaze can creep forward, so we're not jarring into the neck, and following your own breath. And just one more of each from wherever you are. And then finding a neutral spine. So we're going to take our, our curls here, our twisting curls. So pressing into the left hand, we're going to inhale, sweep the right arm open. And as we exhale, we reach under the body, crossing the body. But then we inhale, uncurl again. And we flow. And being really conscious of the shoulder blades. So all of this movement coming from the back. Just two more. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, placing the hand to the mat, coming to the left side. Inhale, left arm sweeps the chest open. And exhale, scooping under. Inhale, arm curling. And exhale, on now. Two more of these. Last one. Inhale, arm curl, really reaching. And exhaling, flex the hand to the mat. So we're going to work some more on our shoulder blades here. So looking down to where the hands are, make sure you're in a good tabletop to begin and then place your elbows where the hands were. And then the forearms are parallel to the edge of the mat with the palms face down if possible. So we're breathing here. So we're going to start to stick the bum out, draw the shoulder blades down the back. We take a deep inhale. So don't let the shoulders ride up. And as we exhale, we send the hips backwards. So the elbows are going to want to ping out to the sides. So that's the work. Draw the shoulder blades down. And you can look forward between the hands, or you can drop the gaze, drop the head towards the mat. And we're breathing here. Try and send your inhale between the shoulder blades. Open that space. Mm, you can feel quite delicious. It's a really tricky area to get into. And continuing to see if you can drop the hips back. We'll just do one more inhale, exhale here. 
And the next inhale, rising up, resetting your tabletop. So we're going to take a cow and cat. But when we get to our cat posture, we're going to stay there for a few breaths and stretch out between the shoulder blades. Inhale, drop the belly, drop the chest. Exhale, rounding up into the cat posture. And really enjoy this one. You can wriggle side to side and stretch around one shoulder blade at a time. Mm. Mm, wonderful. And let's come back to our neutral spine. <clears throat> we're going to lean forward. Inhale, tuck the toes. And we're going to send the hips high. Coming to a downward dog. But it's not a static downward dog. We're walking through the legs. Really ease those calves. I can't quite believe how stiff my body feels just from three days of sitting. Mm. Mm. It's taking any movements that you need here. If you'd like to take a dolphin posture, you are welcome to do so. So this is when you start from your downward dog and you drop your forearms to the floor parallel with the edges of the mat but only if you want to. It's just more work around the shoulder blades. <sighs> Wonderful. When you're ready, padding up to the top of the mat into a forward fold. So we're going to take our feet nice and wide for this one this evening. So wider than hips, hip width. And we're going to take some motion Swaying side to side. Let the head be heavy. Just notice if you're looking at the floor at your feet. So let the gaze float between the legs. Mm. Wonderful. And then we'll settle into stillness. So we're going to work on these glutes. Excuse me. So taking the left hand and grabbing hold of the right ankle, we're going to bend the left knee deeply, and then we're going to send the buttocks to the right side. So you should start to feel the opening around the lower back, maybe down the side of that right leg. Let the head be heavy. And you can play around with the position of the pelvis. Find the spot that's good for you. So it will all depend on the shape of your legs. So I have slightly bow legs. So I have to sway a little bit further. Hmm. If you want to deepen, you can draw your forehead towards the right shin. One more deep inhale, exhale here. And then we'll straighten that left leg. So taking the right hand now, grabbing hold of the left ankle, bend the right knee deeply. And then we'll send the buttocks towards the left side. So you'll start to feel the stretch around the glutes, maybe down the back of the leg, into the back. So we're doing this with a slightly wider stance this evening. And again, if you want to deepen, start to draw the forehead towards the shin. Mm. One more deep inhale, exhale here. And then inhaling back to center. And we'll bend the knees deeply. And we're going to take three breaths to roll up. We're only going to move as we inhale. So bending the knees, we'll inhale, roll up a few inches. And pause to exhale. Feel the softening in the body. Inhale, rolling up. Pause for the exhale. Inhale, roll up. And exhaling, coming to standing. So hands to prayer at heart center. Big toes touch now, heels an inch apart. Let's lift under the buttocks. Sense of lift in the heart. Chin is tucked, so neck is long. Closing the eyes. So 
So just have a few breaths here to let the blood pressure settle. Feel the sway of your body. And just notice, does each in and out breath affect how your body sways? Does it instigate a sway? Does it slow it down? Wonderful, let's open our eyes. So we're just gonna do, let's, yeah, let's just do one round of our sun salutation just to get into the hips. It's a great way of opening. So we'll take it nice and slow. Next, inhale, sweep the arms, gazing up. And exhaling to your forward fold. We're going to take an inhale and find our flat back, whatever that means for you. And we're going to stay here with each inhale. Let's see if we can send the heart forwards. And exhale, there's a softening. Inhale, heart comes through. Exhale, there's a softening. Two more breaths. Exhale, soften, shoulder blades down the back. One more inhale. And exhaling forward fold. You can bend the knees and then step back with the right foot. Find your longest lunge and then drop the right knee, shin, top of the foot down. If you're feeling energetic, you can come straight into the raised version of this with the arms beside the head. Otherwise, we'll just take a moment, set up our base. Now draw the left hip back, right hip forward. So this will just slightly twist the pelvis back so it's square. And this will bring you more stability. With each exhale, trying to move your pelvis towards that left heel, so softening down. And then let's float up, either hand to knee and hip, or arms beside the head. And we're breathing here. I'll just teach you another arm variation that you can add to these postures in your own time. So you interlace your fingers at the sacrum, and then you're going to straighten into the arms. So this opens your chest, stretches the shoulders, and then we try to float the hands away from the, the tailbone. But only if you want that opening in the chest. We'll have different needs. And we're breathing, lifting, exhaling, softening. Mm. We're going to take another inhale to lift the heart and exhale here. We'll do one more. Inhale, lift the heart high. And exhaling, hands to the mat. Step back into high plank, holding the high plank for a lovely long deep inhale. Find length, heel to the crown of the head. We'll actually take another breath in here. And then exhaling. Lowering down, elbows brushing the ribs all the way to your tummy, untucking the toes. And now we're going to draw the heart through along the mat, finding your first true back bend. So you may be an inch off the floor, you may be six inches. So making sure to draw the shoulders back and down the rib cage. And we're breathing here. You can take a gaze over each shoulder if you wish. One more deep inhale and exhaling, coming back through tabletop, find your way to your downward dog. So we'll just have two breaths here. You can walk these two breaths out. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, step forward with the right foot this time. Left knee, shin, top of the foot's coming down. So before we come up, let's feel that right hip drawing back, left hip forward. So the pelvis may only move half a centimeter or a millimeter, but it's that sensation, that direction of movement to square the pelvis. It becomes really important in our standing postures for balance and strength and stability. And if you're ready, floating up either hand to knee and hip or arms beside the head, if you interlace the fingers at the sacrum on the other side, try it on this side, so it will be different. And then try and draw the arms away from the bum. And continue to breathe. So as you're breathing there, you're trying to expand the front of the chest, open the shoulders. 
hand doing all the other motions as well. So inhale, there's a lift in the spine. Exhale, there's a softening. One more here. Really open that left hip flexor. We're going to take an inhale to lift the heart, lengthen the front of the spine. Exhale. One more inhale. And we'll exhale. Step forward to your forward fold. Let the head be heavy. So we're going to do our big toe grab here. So more work on lengthening the backs of the legs. So we're going to take our index and middle finger and grab hold of the big toes. So we're going to take a deep inhale, bend the knees, try and look forward. So we're trying to find a flat back here. And then as you exhale, we're straightening into the legs, letting the head fall towards the mat. So top of the head is facing the mat and we're gazing between the legs. So you're working towards straight legs. You can have your legs bent as deeply as you need. So working compassionately with your body. And now let's make sure we're drawing the shoulder blades down the back. So there's space for the ears. And one more deep inhale, exhale here, and then we'll release the toes, bend the knees. And we're going to roll up through the spine. You can take one or two breaths, coming to standing hands to prayer at heart center. Mm, couple of breaths here, and then we'll make our way to our mats. And we're ready to move. Inhale, we'll move for a modified salutation. Inhale, reaching up. And exhaling, forward fold. Inhale, find your flat back. And then exhale, walking back to high plank. We'll take a deep inhale, reaching heels to the crown of the head and exhaling to Chaturanga. Untuck the toes as you inhale, draw the heart through, exhaling here. We'll take one more inhale, open your heart and exhale, pushing back. Let's find our wide knee child's posture. You can take a breath or two to wiggle down and land the forehead. Come back to the breath, the gentle rise and fall of the body. And just notice how different your body can feel after just some really gentle, slow asana practice. So we're going to take another deep inhale and then we're going to snake forward trying to keep the chin in contact with the mat. So looking forward, so you're going to stick your bum out. So articulating the spine until you lie on your tummy. Straighten out the right arm and we'll spin over to lie on our backs. So we're going to take another happy baby here. So you can either hug the knees in, hold the backs of the knees, ankles or big toes. And just a couple more breaths. And then soles of the feet coming back to the mat. So bringing the heels as close to your buttocks as possible. This time, palms of the hands are face down either side of the bumps. We are going to take a true bridge. You can, make, you can continue with the rolling up and rolling down if you wish. Otherwise, we're going to take a deep inhale, exhale. And our next breath in, rolling the pelvis towards us, climbing up one vertebra at a time till we get to the top of our bridge. So only looking at the ceiling, don't look left or right, protect your neck. So if you're staying at the top of your bridge, roll your shoulders under the body. So this will lift your heart towards your face. And if you do that, 
really don't look left or right, so the neck is in a vulnerable position here. And we're breathing. We'll take five more deep Ujjayi breaths. You can roll down when you wish. One more deep inhale. And as you exhale, rolling down until the pelvis lands. So move the shoulders out and we'll take another happy baby. So either hugging the knees in or taking a full posture, whatever works for you. Mm. Wonderful. Before we come to our twist, we're just going to take a butterfly pose with slightly different hand variations. So the soles of the feet are coming together, knees are falling outwards. And we're breathing here. We're going to take the right hand to the tummy, the left hand roughly over the biological heart. And we're going to close our eyes here. And we're going to tune into the rise and fall of the right hand which is easy to feel. And then as things quieten, we're going to try and sense our heartbeat under the left hand. See if you can let the groins go. Just one more lovely long deep inhale, exhale. And then using the hands if you need to bring the knees back together, you can just windscreen wipe if it helps just to ease the groins. It can be a strong posture. And we're going to straighten the left leg and draw the right knee up to the chest. We'll take hold of it in the left hand, release the right hand out at 90 degrees. We've missed a step, so placing the right sole of the foot back to the mat, we're going to move the entire pelvis to the right side, sort of three to six inches, so we're lying in a curve, and then we take the knee up to the chest, holding onto the knee in the left hand. Take a deep inhale here, and as we exhale, guiding the knee over the body to the left side, coming into our supine twist. So only twist as far as you can before the right shoulder starts to lift. And with each exhale, see if you can let go into the twist. If you want to complete the twist, gaze towards your right thumb, and you'll be twisting tailbone to the crown of your head. Take one more deep inhale, exhale here. And then when you're ready, inhaling back to center, remembering to square the pelvis and bend the left knee up, straightening the right leg. And we have to move our pelvis to the left side this time. And then it's left knee towards the chest, left arm out at 90 degrees, we'll take an inhale in the center and exhale guide that knee across the body finding your twist <sighs> keeping the left shoulder down 
And if you have space, you can gaze towards that left thumb. One more deep inhale, exhale here. And then next inhale, rolling onto our back. Remember to square the pelvis. And let's do it. Let's have one last happy baby. So either just grabbing the knees, the backs of the knees, or the big toes. Mm. We'll float the feet back to the mat. Knock the knees left and right. And when you feel ready, let's make our way over to our right side. And we're coming towards our seated posture, but take your time as long as you need. So finding a nice easeful posture. And the spine is tall. And we're going to take a very gentle sway forwards and back, feeling for that central point. And then gently left and right. So we're going to do a practice we haven't done together. I haven't done with you for quite a number of weeks, maybe six weeks. I know Alistair's been doing it. So we're going to do the Brahmari breath, which is B breath. So we take the index fingers above the eyebrows. Use your middle fingers to close the eyes, so a gentle closing on the eyelashes. Ring finger is just either side of the nostrils, and baby fingers are either side of the mouth. And we use our thumbs to plug our ears, so pushing the tragus, that bit that sticks out, we push the tragus into the ear hole. And we'll do five Brahmari breaths, so deep inhale.
you finish relaxing the hands down, feel the cool blood re-entering the ears. And we'll make our inquiries to the physical body. What are the dimensions of your physical body now? Mm, what's the quality of the mind? And then finally, the energetic body. Let's take our awareness to the space of the heart. A few gentle breaths manifesting from inside the chest. So we use the secret breath or the pranic breath. And it feels like it arises from within rather than entering through the nose. Take our left hand to our heart, right hand on top of our hands to prayer. And we make a dedication for our practice. So this evening I invite you to dedicate to all people, near and far. And that's what we bow out to say thank you for our practice. Namaste.